So yeah, it's stop Asian hate. Stop discriminating on Asian people through your affirmative action. <laughs> Let's talk about these woke celebrity gangsters. You know, everybody knows I'm coined for referring to these rappers, this hip hop community, the culture that they are so romantically in love with that they only have selective outrage when a police do something. But they ain't got no outrage when these rappers, these celebrities that push this suicidal poetry on a good beat that glorifies game banging and getting locked up. Literally, Snoop Dogg is like 63 years old, still crip walking on the main stage, man. He's wearing bandanas of crips and, and the whole blood, crips and bloods and gang bangers and disciples and young doffs of the world. And, and, and uh, what's the other dude that got killed out there in, in, in California? I can't keep up with these rappers. They're just getting killed left and right. Uh, Nipsey Hussle, left and right. They, they push this suicidal poetry on a good beat to the generations that listen to them and it influences them they think it's cool to be a gangster and have this badass attitude that's getting them in trouble that's making them not want to value going to school because they think is they too cool to go get an education so instead they want to be 63 years old still crip walking with blue bandanas on with the dancers that have penitentiary outfits on but this is the culture that y'all are so romantically in love with. I swear to you, man, you Eeyores of color are so backwards, man. And for those of y'all that don't know who the hell the Eeyores of color are, it's the people that refer to themselves as people of color. Eeyore, yeah, Eeyore off of Winnie the Pooh, the depressed, pessimistic, negative animal, the donkey. You guys are Eeyores of color. All you do is push destructive culture. Stuff that is just pure destruction. And then you got Jay-Z, the, the biggest hypocrite of all of them. Oh, man, we, 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 we took back the power of that word. And the moment that somebody says the word, you buckle down to your knees. Jay-Z's directing the, the halftime show. So in one minute, is boycott the halftime show and tell, tell, celebrity, tell performers, not to, tell uh, artists not to perform at the halftime. And then on the other hand, He's at the halftime show. He's at the, he's at the Super Bowl taking pictures with his daughter. I mean, make it, this is what Kanye West meant when he said there's halfway movements. Black folks are so backwards, man. I have to get on y'all because y'all glorify this suicidal poetry on a good beat culture with y'all hip hop rap music. You ought to be ashamed of y'all selves, man. And they push the same rhetoric of that putting mask on when everybody at the daggone Super Bowl game ain't got no mask on, including them politicians. Y'all Eeyores of color. Oh, I can't do anything. <laughs> White supremacy is all around us. Oh, we need student debt loan gone. We need reparations. Oh, I'm an Eeyore of color. Man, I have post-traumatic stress from slavery. Oh, uh, racism is all around us. We need affirmative action. That's what y'all sound like, Eeyores of color. I ain't got to call y'all no Shaquishas and beta male Shaquishas no more. You're Eeyores of color. And I hope other people pick up what I'm saying. Stop arguing with them people. They're backwards, man. And everybody's mad about Eminem kneeling. Who cares he kneeled? Who cares? He didn't kneel during the anthem. And that's the thing about the NFL. I think they're trying to clean it up after all this woke stuff that they push. They realize, man, their ratings, they're they losing money, that the woke is actually trying to sue them now. The woke is eating at themselves. So when you go woke, you go broke. Everybody's suing them. Everybody's suing the NFL. Woke, co woke coaches are suing them, claiming that they, they are discriminating on black people. So it don't matter how much paraphernalia uh, graffiti shit that you put on the field and they survive celebrity criminals on your helmets. It don't matter. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They don't want equal opportunity. They want equity. They want equal outcomes. I mean, they don't want equal outcomes. They, they want, um, they don't want equal opportunity. They want out, um, equal outcomes. That's what they want. Equ equity. Th that's why they want to get rid of individualism. They want to get rid of personal responsibility. They want you to think like them, collective. Everything's got to be collective effort. 
So even though I buckle down, I study hard, I choose not to listen to this crazy ass music that y'all listen to all day. The WAP. I'm going to study. I ain't going to go out with friends. I ain't going to get high. I ain't going to go hang out with game bangers. I'm going to stick to myself. I'm going to buckle down. I'm going to take my work serious. And I'm going to, based off my merits, qualify to get into the school. They don't want that. They want equity. They want affirmative action. They want to get into the school and be able to goof off their whole life. Dance and shake their ass all goddamn day. That's what they want. They want equity. They, are, they fight racism and they want equality. Yet, but they still want affirmative action, which is discriminating on people. So yeah, it's stop Asian hate. Stop discriminating on Asian people through your affirmative action. You guys are discriminating on Asian people based off their merits. How about that? Since I'm on a rant, you guys got to stop this stuff, man. It's, it's, it's pathetic, man. Pray for me, man. Uh, you know, it, it's irritating to see the stuff that's going on in our country, man. It just is, man. The selective outrage, people are mad about this over here. Something that is clearly an anomaly, and then they mad. They don't even get mad at the stuff that's going on over here. People are like, no, we got to put these mandates. If they could, they would put us all in the fence. It's clear they just want to get rid of anybody that has values of putting God first, people that value the Constitution, people that value life, people that value personal responsibility. It's clear that they just don't want that. They want to destroy and demonize anybody that thinks like that. It's not about black and white. It's about ideology. It's about values and principles. It's about people that want to put God first. That's why they denounce Christianity. They denounce the Bible. And it's such an oxymoron. The same people that denounce it are the same people that try to uh, not try. It's factual claim that it comes from Africa. And most of them are brought up in the church. They completely deny what their grandmama and their mama raised them on. We know you was brought up in the church and you were shouting just like everybody else, singing the songs, the storm is passing over. <laughs> we know what's up. We know, we know you listen to John P. Key and you love when T.D. Jake speaks, except when he tells you that you need to uh, announce Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Then all of a sudden you don't want to hear that because you got to take responsibility because your maker is watching you. You're not honoring your father and your mother. See that if we if they don't want people that put God first because the biblical principles and values are in place for us to live and walk a righteous life. You know, I'm not a pastor or a preacher and that's apparent and I'm not trying to take y'all to church because it's apparent. I'm I'm a sinner just like anybody else. I need to repent at times, so I'm going to ask y'all to pray for me just like I ask you to pray for the sick and inflicted. But they deny it. They don't want people to put God first because you know what? Don't it say um, you, thou shalt honor thy mother and father, but yet we got a lot of people that do not honor their mother and their father. Do you know what that means? How you conduct yourself in public around other people is a straight reflection of your mother and your father. But that's why they don't want you to put God first. They don't want you to do that because they don't want those values in place. They want to be able to do and live whatever kind of life with no consequence. That's why they want to be able to have all these different identities. They want to do whatever they want. They want everybody to think collectively. They want to denounce the Constitution, too. If we go back to the value systems that even Frederick Douglass spoke about the Constitution, said it was anti-slavery. He even broke down the three-fifths argument that you guys love to bring up. And why they did it. But you guys deny that. One hand, you want to use the Constitution to push y'all's crazy crap. But on the other hand, you want to denounce it. You guys make me sick. And then anybody that values life. Anybody that values life, they want to denounce that. They want to denounce anybody that values life. Because they want to be able to do what they want to do. They want to denounce anybody that wants to take personal responsibility. It's no longer an uh, 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 equal opportunity for everybody, not based off of color and all that old nonsensical and what your creed and belief is. They want collectively. They want you to think collectively. What you, what you have, I need to reappropriate. All your hard work, your saving, your efforts, your risk, your failures, 
and you picking yourself back up and working hard, applying yourself, learning new skill and molding it and bringing value to the marketplace. They want to reappropriate and take what's yours because they ain't got enough personal responsibility to do it they sell. Now, if I'm lying, I'm dying. You tell me I'm lying. It's the truth. Everybody wants to be healed and don't want to be sick no more, but they don't want to take the medicine. Somebody got to be out here and tell the truth. People ought to be ashamed of themselves, man. This is truth, y'all. This is not about white and black. This is about people that hold those principles and values in their life. People that want to conserve those values of putting God first, valuing life, respecting the Constitution, taking personal responsibility, main pillars that you should live by. I challenge anybody that's on this live to think about your personal philosophy and what that means to you. What is your personal philosophy? How do you walk your day to day life? How do you view yourself and how do you view others? Do you view yourself as somehow some kind of unique individual that only catastrophe and bad things happen to you as if other people don't experience similar things? Are you some kind of victim? Or are you someone that embraces the hardship because it's molding you, it's preparing you for your future self so that you can get better? You understand that life and business are like the changing seasons. You're going to have winter, spring, summers and falls. You can come on here, you guys can talk trash and you can say that I do this and that and blah, 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 blah. I don't get paid a dime to do this. I'm speaking from the heart. I'm speaking from my own personal experiences. Someone that comes from nothing, put himself into prison through bad decisions, took responsibility, turned his life around, lives his life to dedicate to other people and has done great things, very successful in business and will continue to be successful and will use my story and my voice to change hearts and minds to challenge you in the way that you think and challenge your personal philosophy. Get all my rights back, civil rights, including Second Amendment rights. And you guys say I'm an anomaly. I embrace it. I am an anomaly. I am an antidote. I am an exception to the rule because I'm different from you. I broke away from your collective thinking. And I challenge you to go back to the roots of how you were brought up. Go back to church. Open up that Bible. Stop coveting. It even says it in the Bible that thou shalt not covet. Even Moses couldn't get you to the motherland. Pick yourself up. We got to come together, people. Yeah, wait.